year, the New England Patriots sat out 12 players because of COVID concerns from the 2020 season. Last night, guys, if you were watching the man hour, Combs broke the news that the NFL is allowing players to opt out of the 2021 season with pay. So with that being said, why I'm going to kick it to you first. Last year, we saw the New England Patriots play this COVID card like champs, and they hit the draft good, and they nailed free agency. Do we see any teams in the 2021 season copy what the Patriots did in 2020, which I think is highly suspect of cheating, but we digress on that. No, no, I don't think so. I think the only reason why I say that is because, you know, we've seen a huge decline in numbers for COVID. Um, You know, we're finally getting people back in stadiums. We're finally getting, um, you know, masks are going away. I honestly, I don't remember the last time I wore a mask in a store here in Indiana. Our mandates have been gone for a while. So, uh I, I don't think so because there's a lot of a lot of stuff has changed. It's not where we, we we are not right now in the world where we were at the beginning of football season, which seems so far away, but really it actually isn't. It hasn't even been a year since football season had started, and it feels like it's been like 20 because of that situation we're in. Are we gonna have football? I mean, I know personally myself at that time, and I know Buck, you went through this too. Are we going to have high school football? Are we going to have school? Are we going to have, you know, college football? Are we going to have pro football? Are we going to have fans? What fans? Parents? Family? How? how, I even had, there was even arguments in in certain parts of the world, or not just the the, the U.S. talking about, like, where we go with with people seating of, of what is instant family. Like people were arguing, oh, our grandparents instant family are, I mean, we are in such a different place in our world now than where we were just a few months ago with so many questions have been answered that weren't answered before. We were all still left in the dark, didn't understand what was going on. So no, I I don't, I don't think so. I think that that trend was a 2020 trend, I should say, and it's 2021. It's a different year. It's a different time. The disease is different. It means a different thing now. I mean, I would say I would go as far to say probably 60 70 percent of the world is probably or the, the U.S. is probably vaccinated right now. It, it is a lot of people have been vaccinated. So, no, I think I think that's a rear view mirror situation. I, I think we've passed that. Corey. I've already forgot the question because I have no clue or why it went with everything with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, I don't know. Yeah. It's a completely different ball game this year than last year. The only reason I think that you could see some teams talk about it is if like they were literally trying to pull a tank job, but there is no Trevor Lawrence in the draft this year. So what is there? There's no incentive to really tank. So, you know, it's, I don't see a lot of teams doing it or I don't see a lot of players opting out um, there again, especially like some guys, like if you're in a contract year, why would you opt out? You know, you want to go up and prove you want to maximize your, your contract, everything else like that. There again, and Mike, you play football, and you know this, it's a, still a brotherhood. Right. You still want to go to battle with your brothers. You still want to be there every single day next to them. You want to help them win. You want to be in the trenches with them. So I don't think we're going to see it. Like last year was 100% legitimate concern about, you know, the, the way things were going because it was like touch and go, like, you know, we all kind of thought, are we even going to have a season? So the players that opted out, yeah, good deal. And there again, did the Patriots have a hand in it? I don't know. But whatever whatever way it worked out, it worked out perfect for them. Because there again, it's the Patriots. So you, do you really expect anything less? But, yeah, the only way I – are you really as a GM going to go to your like some of your best players and be like, hey, you know what? We really want to get a good draft pick. Like three or four of you guys should just sit out this year you know, and say COVID, collect your paycheck, still get your year of service. And, you know, but we're just basically going to tank and call the season to wash so we can get a better team around you next year. There's nobody in the right mind. Do you know what kind of heads would roll if that got out? People would be losing the job. We'd be looking at a situation like the the Astros um, where, you know, GMs would be getting suspended for a year. Coaches would be getting, like heads would literally roll from all over the place if something like that got out. So I don't think for even from that perspective that they would teams would do it because the the risk would weigh out um 
way outweigh the reward of getting a high draft pick. Well, it, it is funny that you bring that up just because like, I think it is like probably Bill Belichick and those guys use that kind of, a, of like a recruiting tactic. They're like, Oh, you are a, you are a little bit worried. You should probably sit out. You, 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 you know, like, you know, you know, like they aren't telling them to do that, but they are encouraging Tim to do that. Just, just like what you do when a player decides to go pro. You know, I don't think you'll do very, very well in this year's draft. You should come back and you up your stock, right? I mean, it, like in the end, it is helping your team out and it's not necessarily, I mean, yes, it is in the end helping them out as well, but it's in return, it is, it is helping the team out more. So, with that being said, I think that you are going to see a team that does that this, this year. And the New York Jets come to mind. Because the New York Jets aren't playing with – they're, they're kind of playing with house money this year. Let's just be honest. I mean, they got a brand-new quarterback. They got a brand-new <coughs> offensive line. They, they got some weapons to play with. And, quite frankly, those guys need an extra year to develop in – figure out what they're doing so why not give the head coach a free year a free pass per se to you know possibly get a number one overall pick again or a, a second overall pick, since it couldn't tank right i guess but but so, if you if you if you opt out you can't practice you can't be around the team facilities right. if you opt out so it it's almost it's almost not beneficial because you're still not what, what are you gonna do look at the playbook yeah, I mean, no. you can still be a part of the Zoom meetings. You can still be a part of the virtual practices and, and, and like, all that stuff. I mean, there's still ways around everything. You know that. You will find ways to work around it. But, but it's like I said.